Hey everybody, welcome back to our Kids Time at Home Edition. There we go, perfect, thanks Ollie. Boom, cool. So it is Easter Sunday that we are watching this video and one of the things that we love to say on Easter Sunday is, He is risen. He is risen indeed. Good job, let's do it again. He is risen. Fantastic. So this morning, Pastor Stephen is going to be talking to us about the greatest thing uh, in the Bible, the greatest news that there is, that Jesus is not in the tomb, that Jesus is alive. It's the whole of what Scripture is all about, how from Genesis to Jesus' story and Jesus' death and resurrection and then on to Revelation, it's all pointing back to Jesus. So this is a great day indeed. So let's say it one more time. He is risen. He is risen. All right, so we're back. And before us, we have a few things to help us with an object lesson where we're talking about what Jesus actually accomplished, what he did by dying on the cross for our sins. And so uh, here we've got a plate. Evie, can you hold that up for us? And it says what? What does it say on it? Sin. It says sin, that's right. So this plate here represents sin, how sin separates us from God. There's a barrier uh, between us and the Lord and we're going to talk about how Jesus took care of this barrier and then here we have a bowl and we're going to put our plate on top of the bowl and over here we have a jug of water and this represents uh, God and because of how God is and how wonderful he is what he wants to do is give us himself he wants to pour himself into us he wants to fill us up but because of sin, the barrier uh, that separates us from him, we can't get it. It doesn't fill us up because this water uh, is, is stopped by the barrier of sin. Okay, so we're just going to put that there for now and make a little mess. So we've got this barrier. It's a problem, right? So Jesus came and he lived a perfect life. God in human flesh lived a perfect life. And then when he got to the cross, what he actually did is he, he took our sin upon himself and he got rid of the barrier. In fact, uh, the scriptures say that when Jesus died on the cross, that the veil was torn in two between God's presence in the temple and, and humanity. It was torn in two from the top to the bottom. So Ollie, why don't you take a side, one side right here, Evie. You take another side and you guys rip it down the middle. Just rip it. Perfect, woohoo! Jesus took care of our sin problem. The, the barrier between us and God is gone. It is no more. Jesus did that for us. So, now we go back to God filling us up. And here we have our, our bowl again. And now that barrier is gone. And God and us, there's, a, there's, there's nothing in the way there. Except, well, is there a problem, guys? Yeah. What's the problem? It's upside down. It's, it's upside down, that's right. The bowl, which is meant to be filled with God, us, our purpose, our, our existence, is supposed to be one where God is pouring into us and filling us up. But if, we're, if we have our backs turned on the Lord, He can't fill us up. We have to respond to His good news and turn away from our sin for the Lord to fill us up. And then we are full of Him. We are filled with Him, filled with the Lord as we respond to His gospel. Isn't that great news that God can fill us up? Yes! It's amazing. Fantastic. All right, so we're back for our conclusion. Thanks, Evie. So as we are listening this morning to Pastor Stephen preach about the good news of Jesus Christ, how He died, rose again, taking care of our sin barrier, and how we can respond to Jesus by, by turning away from sin and turning to the Lord and saying, yes, Lord, I want you to fill me up. I want my life to be full of you. I give my life to you. Let's be keeping our ears open for how we are free. And remember, guys, what do we say on Easter Sunday? We say, he is risen. He is risen indeed. Fantastic. Thanks so much for joining in this week. Uh, remember, everybody, you are loved. Bye, everybody. Wow.